Hey, I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the Alpaca modular sling that I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you more videos to help you make the best decisions when purchasing gear. Let's jump in. On the outside of this bag, we don't have a ton going on. We've got the alpaca logo down here. It's got this nice rubbery feel to it. I think it's the same material that's used for these zipper pulls or at least something very similar. I do really like these zipper pulls. We actually have YKK zippers on here as well. Um, with alpaca, they use different kinds of zippers. Sometimes it's, I think, SBS or Zoom and other times it's YKK. Sometimes the product pages on their site don't correctly reflect that information, reflect that information. Sometimes they do like a new version of something and it used to be SBS, but now it's YKK. So these on, on this version are YKK. So best zippers, uh, you know, very, very durable. We think they're the best brand out there. So just check yours. And uh, if it's not, I'd be curious to know that it's not YKK. Um, anyway, that was like a long time on zippers. <laughs> but the x fabric here on the outside is very weather resistant as well. You can see this diamond pattern that helps with any types of tears very weather resistant and that YKK zipper is AquaGuard. So there are taped seams here that are gonna help keep additional water out, um, keep water out. So there's a strap here, which I'll get into in a second, but there's a Velcro system here, or a hook and loop system that you can attach this to like the strap of your bag or just somewhere else. It's pretty robust and this thing is pretty big to be wearing like right here on your backpack strap. So personally, I like it better as a sling, but if you want to attach this either to your backpack strap up front or like on the back of your bag or inside, there's a place to put it. That's something to consider too. Not a lot else going on with the outside of this thing. Just a very nice sleek profile and it doesn't stick out too far either. The strap can be attached and detached depending on which mode you want to carry this in. It's just a standard gatekeeper buckle here and there's like a Hypalon loop system sewn in up here at the top, which I think is really nice, feels nice to the touch, and the angle keeps it nicely anchored as well. So it kind of separates the straps down at the bottom naturally, which just makes it easier to get on and off. The strap itself is a nice soft seatbelt-like material. I know some people with slings, um, they, they get like, you know, sometimes these straps can be kind of coarse, so this is soft and comfortable to wear. There's just some standard hardware, plastic hardware here too that allows you to adjust whether you want to tighten or loosen the fit of the sling. Elastic keeper here first as well. For a split second, I was like, I don't know what this does because there's no loose strap hanging. But if you have this thing really tight, this part can kind of come open and closed really easily as you're flipping this thing around. So this elastic loop can kind of sit in the middle-ish to keep it from separating too much, which I dig. So I threw on a different jacket real quick so you could see black on gray a little bit easier. This is where I like to wear the sling. I really like wearing it here. You can have quick access to the compartments, get everything you want to access inside. And then when you don't want it right here in front, you can just pop it to the back like this. So here's what it looks on on the back. And then if I flip it to the front, here's what it looks on when it's on the front. And I like to wear it kind of on my stomach so that when I'm walking, I can like, you know, my arms can swing naturally. It's not like this and they're like swinging around that way. So I do like where this is positioned. One pocket on the outside of this thing, it's a magnetic flat pocket here at the top. So I have a Max Pro iPhone in here and inside I've got this relatively full, but I wanted to just quick demonstrate that sometimes there's a, this flap is magnetic. And sometimes when the inside is filled out a lot, the phone has a bit of a harder time coming in here and then it, the magnet doesn't quite engage. Now, if this part is more empty, the phone can more easily slip down or you push it down and then kind of pull this flap over and then you can get that magnet to engage. But if not, I mean, it has a bit of a hard time closing and staying shut as you can see from what I'm doing here. But that max size iPhone fits in there really nicely. I just wish that the interior organization was just a little bit more optimized and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. When I zip these down, I can go all the way down to the bottom. However, there's a fabric gusset here that's gonna keep this sling from opening further. So I could actually probably have these 
a little bit higher and still get a very similar amount of access though when we do unzip things fully, they can separate more. One other thing to note is because that phone's in the front, the weight of it kind of pops this down a little bit for easy access. I actually like that a lot because you unzip this on your side and it just pops down and gives you view a view of everything that's inside already, which I dig. So you can see that everything's pretty much fully packed out. Um, the one thing that really bothers me about this thing is just how much wasted space ends up here at the top, at least with the loadout of the stuff that I have. And I don't think it's that optimal. So, and that's really what messes with this being able to close with your phone. And as it's empty here, or as it's open, there's a little less like pushing against itself. But even if you look at these AirPods, if I had them this way, it has a very hard time closing. So I don't know, I just wish it was a little bit wider or the organization was a little different. It's close to being a very, very good sling for me besides this wasted space up here at the top. Um, but it might work for you. If you have like longer items, great. This is a standard size battery bank. In fact, it's smaller than most battery banks out there. The, uh, the Nikkor uh, NB10,000. There we go, words were eluding me for a second. There is a soft material here at the back but it's a good place if you want to, where you can also pop your phone. So if I place that back there, put this down to the bottom, even the case like that fits really, really, really well. And I suppose if I wanted to, I could stick the battery bank up here. Although I don't like that as much because it's more quick to access your phone when it's up here on the front versus having it inside past a zipper. And I've got my phone out of my pocket, you know, all the time or my sling all the time. Um, set this aside for now. I will also pull the phone out and show you what else that we're working with inside of here. This main part goes all the way under the bottom. One thing I love about this orange liner is that it makes it really easy to see black gear on the inside here. So if these were black or I had like a small dongle that had you know made its way down to the bottom, the orange honeycomb liner makes it easy to see everything inside all the way down to the bottom. Fabric gussets can limit the amount that you could open it up. But let me show you here, I've just got my passport in the back or like if you had like a field notes notebook that could totally go there. Take this out and put it to the side. I got my wallet to the side as well and my headphones. And then we can see that there are, there is a like one pocket in front of this. I've just got a little charger there, cable there, and then um, a pen, a small pen. So there are two elastic loops here on the front of this back pocket. And these allow you to put like cords or like smaller accessories and they can be hidden by this flap here. So it looks like actually, <laughs> I even forgot this was in there, like a little um, uh, thumb drive, but I'm glad I did, because I also wanted to demonstrate that it can be easy to lose stuff down inside of this small pocket up the, in the front, as these elastic loops don't necessarily grip things super hard. So I put it there, slides down to the bottom, it can even go onto its side, and I almost nearly forgot that it was in there down at the bottom. I wish that honeycomb liner, liner was on the inside of this pocket too, just so I could see it a little bit better. So there you have it, the Alpaca Modular Sling. Thanks for keeping here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.